under the gravitation the force is due to the weight of the molecules of the fluid they try to come down and they press they apply force on the lower layer this layer and this layer all these layers apply their force on the bottom one this on the bottom one so every layer below the other is experiencing more force more pressure this is applicable for the liquids as well as any fluid and air is also a fluid so on the surface of earth here is a layer of the air on the top there is another layer on the top there is another layer and there are molecules so many kilometers above it that is what we call atmosphere so all the molecules here above it in the atmosphere up to infinity they are all pressing this liquid or they are pressing anything any surface which comes into contact which comes into contact so all these are pressing here okay now the weight of all these molecules that is the force and the force per unit area that we call effect of the force that is pressure so atmosphere is creating pressure now this pressure according to pascal's law at one particular level is spreading in all the direction in equal amount so if i place anything here like if i place my finger here then what is the direction of pressure on it according to pascal's law at this point pressure is downward at this point pressure is upward at this point pressure is in this direction <laughs> here pressure in this direction so all the pressures are like this pressing it inward that is who is creating that pressure atmosphere and in which direction in all the directions is it equal i say yes it is equal because this for the purpose of gravity this height of the top surface and the bottom surface there is not much difference with respect to hundreds of kilometers of the atmosphere this layer and this layer are almost at the same level my whole body is at the same level so pressure on my body from all the directions is same and the pressure at head is equal to what the complete atmospheric pressure so pressure here pressure here everywhere my body is being compressed by the atmospheric pressure and this is not only for the body for anything so if we have a tank there is a water on the tank it is already experiencing pressure which is atmospheric pressure so atmospheric pressure on the surface of earth is everywhere and it is pressing every surface in all directions which are normal to the surface please remember here the pressure is not in this direction not in this direction it is in the vertical direction to all the surface if the surface is turning the direction of pressure is also turning okay uh, can we prove that pressure is also pressure is always at right angle yes this is a surface made of so many molecules and we see this water these molecules are not flowing they are in a tank and we say they are not having any horizontal force and this state is known as equilibrium equilibrium means force in any direction is zero now if i say there is a pressure here acting in this direction pressure and i say it is normal if it is not normal then what will happen if it is not normal and it is making certain angle with the vertical then this pressure i can always resolve it into two directions one is this direction and one is this direction now this is of course downward and it is balanced by reaction force 
of the liquids. But this pressure, this component, pressure into area, this will become a force and force will always create acceleration. So this particle should move with certain acceleration. But we find it is in equilibrium, it is not moving, the force is zero. So this, if this is theta, then this is p cos theta and this is p sin theta. So we find p sin theta multiplied by area, this is a force in horizontal direction. But because these particles are not moving, there is no acceleration, we get the result that this force is equal to zero. So in this, neither a is zero nor p is zero. So what is zero? Sine theta is equal to zero. So theta is equal to zero. If you make theta is equal to zero here, then how this pressure should be? The pressure should be in this direction. That means vertical. So this is how we prove that if it is not vertical, then this particle should move and they are in equilibrium. That itself shows that pressure always act in normal direction. This is atmospheric pressure. Now, what is gauge pressure? Gauge pressure is difference of the two pressures. I have this tube and I pump with a compressor some extra air molecules in it. It was having 1 million molecules of the air. With this, I put 1 million extra, 2 million. Now, I put a spring here. This spring here, initially, when I did not pump the air, this was the indicator. The moment I put more and more air molecule here, what I find, the force on the walls has increased. Earlier, there were only 1 million particles which were exerting force. Now I brought 2 million there. So, this was the distance with 1 million. I made it 2 million, this. And they are not used to this distance. They are used to this distance. If I put it here, then they try to increase this distance up to this level. Because they want to, they are used to this level. So, they apply force outward. Apply force outward. So, the force increase. When this force increase, then force per unit area increase, we say the pressure increase by pumping more air. Here what we see when we pump more air, then this indicator comes here, this. Now this increase in the pressure, this we have calibrated for pressure. Now this increase in the pressure. Is it atmospheric pressure? No. Earlier it was having atmospheric pressure. At that time this we calibrated and we wrote here zero. That does not mean the pressure is zero. That used to mean with reference to atmosphere the excess of pressure is zero. That means that is equal to atmospheric pressure. So this was atmospheric pressure. Now when we give it extra molecules, this becomes here. And suppose this comes to be 10 units. Now, is the pressure in this is 10 unit? Answer is no. It is atmospheric pressure which was earlier plus 10 units. So, atmospheric pressure, I write P naught plus 10 unit. This is actual pressure in it, but I say in this, in my tire, the pressure is 10 units. So when I say the pressure in my tire is 10 units, I am not using the term of atmospheric pressure, I am using the term of gauge pressure. So my gauge is showing 10 
so gauge pressure is always excess to the atmospheric pressure and that is atmospheric pressure is silent in that because we are comparing pressures atmospheric pressure it is everywhere so we say this is our reference point now like on the earth if i am at a height of 2 meter then i say 2 meter am i at a height of 2 meter actually answer is no from the center of the earth it is 6400 kilometer plus 2 meter that is my height compared to this but i don't say this again and again i simply say i am 2 meter tall that means from the surface of the earth so reference point matters here the pressure reference point is atmospheric pressure whatever is the excess that is gauge pressure excess pressure to atmosphere is shown by gauge this is known as gauge pressure so this is the gauge pressure and this is atmospheric pressure now atmospheric pressure with one atmosphere we have also made it one unit of the pressure when we discuss unit of the pressure one unit we have seen that is newton per meter square pascal how much is the atmosphere's pressure if we measure it in pascals so the answer is that one atmosphere that is pressure created by earth's atmosphere at average so one atmospheric pressure is equal to 1.01 into 10 to the power 5 pascal please remember this figure this is 101000 yes 1 lakh 1000 this is so many pascals and what is pascal newton per meter square so we will simply remember it 1.01 10 to the power 5 this is one atmospheric and we write it 1 atm pressure 1 atm pressure there are so many other units of uh, pressure being used for different end use like in engineering in our boilers we use one bar. One bar is equal to simply 10 to the power 5. One bar. 10 to the power 5. Pascal. Now, how do we measure the pressure? How can we, how could we come to know that the pressure of atmosphere is this much? There is a way to do that, how to measure it and to measure the pressure, we use a instrument, there we take help of mercury. There are so many methods nowadays to measure the pressure, but authentic method and the oldest method is mercury column. And still now, this is the most popular because that is the most accurate and every other method are calibrated with this method because this is a very direct method according to our definition. So in the next lecture we will see uh, what is the method using mercury, height of mercury column. Thank you.